indigenously developed electric technology, a first from an Indian inventor. All right, now let's talk about that indigenous technology that's being developed by uh, someone right here at home. It looks very crude to you right now. It looks just like a maybe a cycle with a little battery pack added on to it. But it could have some really interesting potential and possibilities, especially because everybody is looking for that one silver bullet, for that special solution on the electric uh, part inside. Cyrus was there as well to bring this very interesting story to you. It's raining really heavily and we've got a bicycle on the show for you today. But it's electric and the technology here could be the future for all electric bikes and scooters in India. The technology on this bicycle could genuinely change the way you look at personal mobility and to be honest, the concept is so simple that it makes us wonder why no one has actually done this before. What makes it unique is the fact that it can actually self-charge while on the move. And it is front-wheel drive. The batteries send power to the front wheels while the rear wheel is fitted with an ultra-low friction generator that charges the second battery pack while on the move. We caught up with the designer of this bicycle, Puneet Patel, who took us through how this all works. What we have here is we are basically built an e-cycle which charges itself while the cycle is in motion. We have a hub wheel motor which is 250 watts and 24 volt system. Okay, this is a 500 watt generator. So the moment you ride the cycle, generator generates enough current and voltage to recharge the batteries. Right, we have a throttle system here. It starts with the key. Uh, we have a small electronic circuit that we have developed. Right. Specifically to convert AC current to DC and then recharge the batteries. Uh, we have four battery pa batteries out here. Each battery is 12 volt and 12 amp hour. So one, there are two batteries which can, which acts as a battery pack. So this is battery pack one. This is battery pack two. So while second battery pack provides power to the motor, first battery pack charges via generator. While most electric scooters that you can buy today gives you a range of about 50 kilometers, Puneet and his startup Global Renergy claims that with this current configuration, the bicycle can actually do over 130 kilometers before the batteries start heating up and reducing life cycle. We put it to the test and on just one battery pack got over 30 kilometers before switching to the second battery and getting a fresh charge. The system actually works. The front wheels do the powering bit. The rear charges the battery and with the help of some smart and yet extremely simple science, the bike can actually charge itself and can theoretically go on and on forever. This bicycle uses some very basic lead-acid batteries but upgrade those to a lithium-ion pack or a supercapacitor and it can give you even more range and even quicker charging capabilities. Say in an ideal world where you didn't have a cooling issue or you didn't have a motor life issue or a battery life issue, this system could be endless, right? Absolutely. That is the idea behind this cycle. The next step for Puneet is not just better batteries, but an integrated chassis setup where everything is... So train station is probably the best place to end our journey with this little machine. Because as you know, most people still use electric mass market transport solutions like a train to go about their daily business and daily commutes, especially in a city like Bombay or Delhi. But this, something as simple as this, which offers personalized mobility with uh, power going to the front wheels and a recharge system that sort of recharges the same battery pack. Now this is something to genuinely get excited about because this could be the future of personal mobility for India and of course for the rest of the world.